everybody! My name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to show you my top 5 favorite offensive basketball plays. On this channel I show you usually basketball plays, drills, and skills. So I hope you enjoy the, the video today. So, my number 5, so I'm going to count down from 5 down to 1. My number 5 top 5 basketball play is the 5 out pass and screen away. I'm going to also lump this into pass and screen for the player you're, you're passing for. So, for the pass and screen away, self-explanatory, number 1 passes to player 2 as an example, 1 will screen for player 3, 3 will use that screen, and then 2 can either pass to 4 or 3, and if he passes to player 3, he will screen for player 4. Now, when you're screening away, you don't have to just fill in the spot where the player came from. You can also cut towards the rim and pop back out. Or if you pop or if you cut towards the rim, your coach could also instruct your team to dribble the ball around to fill that spot, fill the spot and pop back out. Those are the different options. Now for the screen 4, player 3 will pass to player 1 and screen for player 1 who will use that screen and 3 will roll towards the basket if he's not open. Then he will then clear out to the opposite side of the court and everyone will then fill the spots. Very, very simple, easy offense. Now on to play number four. Play number four is also a five out basketball offense. And how we are going to run it this time is almost like the box offense, which just may be coming later on in this video. But four and five will screen down for players two and three. And then those two players will then use that screen. They could pop up for a three-point shot, or one could pop up and the other will then cut towards the rim, or they could both whoops. Or they could both be cutting towards the rim, and they both or one or the other may be open for a nice layup. Now on to play number three. Play number three is a box offense. It's a very simple play. This play is used primarily, usually just for elementary school teams, grade six, grade seven, grade eight. However, I have successfully used it before at the high school age, and I have also seen NCAA teams using this as well. So first, four and five will screen down on players two and three, and those two players will then pop out to the three-point line. Let's say, for example, one passes to player two because he's open. He could also take the three-point shot, or he could look for player five, who would be posting up the man. Hopefully, obviously, the defense switches. And now there's a mismatch on player five, so that it should be a nice, easy post-up and layup. That is what we hope. Now on to play number two. Anyways, so in this play, this is my second favorite play. You're going to find out that a lot of my plays are very simple. I like to run simple plays mainly because it's easier for your players to learn so they learn it faster and then you can win more games earlier on in the season because generally you don't get, have too many practices before your season actually starts. So first in this play, as you can see, this is going to be a triangle offense. And how we're going to be doing this is player one is going to be passing to player two. One is then going to cut down to the post and out where two could pass to player one. Now this is going to be a triangle motion offense. You've seen this on my channel before. And so here in this play, we're going to have, if player two was to pass to player one, two will then screen for player one. And if there's nothing, if there's nothing happening over here, let's say one passes to five again, and there's nothing there, there's zero zilch nada, we need to swing that ball around. So player four is going to screen for player three. Five is going to pass out or could pass across to player three. Generally, you want to pass it out and then dribble up and across. And then at this point in time, we're going to have player four go down into the low post. And then two is going to continue through using a double screen. Three is going to pass the player two. Two is going to dribble up. And now you've got a triangle offense all over again on that side. And you will be continuing this through over and over until of course you run out of time on the shot clock and then you better shoot the ball now on to my favorite play now this is number one there's a reason because of that 
this is my top play that I use. This is my number one play. I use this now with every team that I coach. If you have a team that has at least one really good shooter, and I don't mean by a guy who's like, oh, he's a good shooter. I mean an actual legitimate, really good shooting player. I had a player once with this play who scored 18 points in the first quarter. 18 points. And we ran this play consecutively over and over and over and over again. And the opposing team could not stop it. Ancaster... There's a city called Ancaster here in Canada. They were unable to stop this at the grade 9 level. We scored probably close to 40 or 50 points off of this play. How this play is going to run, I call this the S play, or you can call this whatever you want. How I like to call it is, what's his name? Whatever his name is, call it. Now, what we're going to have is player 3 is going to screen for player 1, and at the same time 4 is going to go down to the low post. Now player 2 is going to use 5 and 4 as a screen, and 1 is going to be using 3 as a screen. Now both of these players should be open, so they could both take a shot. However, this is your shooter. This is the guy you want to shoot the 3-point shot. 1 is going to pass him the ball for the 3. He needs to have a nice quick shot, and believe me, this play will definitely work. These two guys should be your biggest guys on the court, setting those hard screens, and... Believe me, it works. I love this play. Hands down, the best offensive basketball play you can use if you have a good shooter. I hope you have enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.